Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys from California. Before I begin, give all praise to the Most High Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the Earthly Mother, who is wisdom, who is Holy Spirit. Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. I pray that the Most High blesses this lesson this afternoon, gives us more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past, in order to understand the events that are currently happening on the earth. So we get a much better understanding of things that are soon to come on the earth. I'm going to be hitting up a couple of these scriptures real quick, but I'm probably going to have to come back and uh, expand on them some more with some information a sister actually uh, shared with me a couple of days ago. But I at least want to go ahead and uh, continue with this for a little bit longer. Give more clarification of that Revelation 18, the one that they have you know, keep on making it seem like they are part of which they are not. Well, this is going to show you that they're going to be a part of it, but not the way they want to be. Okay? We're going to take a look at uh, Revelation. Actually, uh, what is this here? Zechariah 2. Let's take a look at 7. Talking about deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. See, this is what happens when they've tried to force everything over into the so-called Middle East. They're trying to make it sound like everything is going to be going on over there as far as prophecy. But this is not making any sense. But see, they've done that with everything. They went ahead and took all of our information and moved it to the so-called Middle East, Europe. They went ahead and took, you know, many of our inventions for themselves, took it over there to the so-called Middle East, Europe. They took our scriptures and then uh, made it seem as if they originated over there in the so-called Middle East in Europe. But now at the end, you're realizing that that's not making any sense. And when you look at the, um, when you sit here and you look at the precepts, you know it for sure doesn't make any sense. It exposes them even more. And it's talking about delivering yourself Zion. The vast majority of Zion is here. And see, they keep making it sound as if they're just going to get raptured away. They they're and they have their hands in all of this, you know, all of these lies, all of this deception. But then they think, okay, my job's done. I've deceived the whole world. I've destroyed everything. I'm going to get raptured away, which makes no sense whatsoever. But let's take a look at um, Micah four and ten real quick. Take a real quick at Micah. Go with me. Go to Micah 4 and 10. See, these are some of my be- my favorite um, <clears throat> verses right here. But we're going to read down from 10 on down to 13. Okay? Be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail. For now shalt thou go forth out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in the field, and thou shalt go even to Babylon. There shalt thou be delivered. There the Lord shall redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies. So she, you know, the Most High is talking right here about how he's going to deliver us. We're going to be at the bottom. We're going to be confused in Babylon. But let's keep on reading a little bit more to kind of find out how this is going to work out. Now also many nations are gathered against thee that say, let her be defiled and let our eye look upon Zion. Look at what's going on today. Remember, none say restore. They want to have their eye on us. They want us to be defiled, and they want to watch it. Have they not been doing that? Yes. But see, they've been doing all these things, defiling our people, destroying our people, but then they now expect to be raptured away. Let's see what the Most High says about that rapture doctrine right here. But they know not the thoughts of the Most High. Neither understand they his counsel, for he shall gather them as the sheaves into the floor. So these people who are coming up with all these doctrines have no idea about the ways of the Most High. They, they have no understanding. Okay, they don't understand, okay, the Most High. So if you're talking about your rapture doctrine, Most High is already telling you, you ain't getting away. You ain't running away. You don't get to do all this stuff to his people and then just say, Cesare. Good times, Jesus, and I'm out of here. 
Nah, -uh. let's see what happens. This is what's about to happen. Because remember, the Most High said that He is the one that's going to. He wants His land, okay, to be purified. He wants His land to be cleansed. Cleansing doesn't mean you get to run away. Cleansing doesn't mean He's going to take you away and be you know part of the supper. Okay, that's not what He said. That's all your religions. That's all the garbage. And, and they're not going to find these scriptures. They're going to go pull some poll stuff, twist that up again, and say, oh, look, Paul says we're just going to say Jesus and we get to go away. Scripture says otherwise. Let's hear what the Most High has planned for you. Arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion, for I will make thine hind iron, or horn iron, and I will make thy hooves brass. And thou shalt beat in pieces many people, and I will consecrate their gain unto the Most High, and their substance unto the Lord of the whole earth. So you keep running with that rapture doctrine. Most High is telling you right here, there is no rapture coming for you. He's going to consecrate, you, go, you know, the gains. He's going to cleanse his land. You see, that's why these precepts have been hidden and taken away. Take a look at verse 8. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, after the glory hath he sent me unto the nations, which spoiled you. For he that toucheth you toucheth the apple of his eye. Now see, right here, he's talking about who, the people who toucheth you toucheth the apple of his eye. Have not two other nations spoiled our people? Yes, you have. Have you hid it? Have you been hiding it? Yes, you have. Have you been ignoring what's been going on with our people? Yes, you have. So the Most High has already said what's going to happen. Now let's take a look at the uh, Isaiah 40. Let's go to Isaiah 60 and 12. I said, I mean, these uh, precepts, Make a huge difference in understanding. Isaiah 60 and 12. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. So the people who've decided that they're going to ignore our power and ignore all of our plight, the Most High said that you're going to be destroyed. It doesn't say you get raptured away. It doesn't say you get to exit stage left after you and your people have been destroying all size chosen people. So again, let's read that. Isaiah 60 and 12. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. This is why it's so important for them to not give credence to the truth. Not tell the people the truth about the most highest chosen people. Because the Most High is not playing. Now, there it is, our Revelation 18 again. Remember now, see, the churches make it sound like they're talking to the churches here. They're talking to, you know, Christians and Catholics. He's not talking to you. I would, know, I would love for you to go ahead and show me some scriptures that actually show me him talking to you. Let's go there to uh, Revelation chapter 18. Verse 1, and after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. So after all these many things have been happening, here comes an angel right here. And you guys already know about uh, Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. So he's making a separation, like the separation of the sheep with the goats. Okay. So, I mean, it's very consistent of what's going on right here. Let's read this next one here. Uh, verse 9. For behold, I will shake my hand upon them, and they shall be a spoil to their servants. And ye shall know that the Lord of uh, hosts hath sent me, Let's go to Isaiah 27 and 1. Isaiah 
Isaiah 27 and 1. In that day the Lord, with his sword and great and strong sword, shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, even Leviathan, that crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. Okay, now let's skip on down to one of my favorites, Isaiah 14 and 2. Isaiah 14 and 2. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. For servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. I mean, it's pretty straightforward what's going on right now, or what's about to go on right now. So the whole rapture doctrine, I'm not seeing any of that in here. We're not seeing any of that in here. It's all about the most highest chosen people going through their punishment, going through their hundreds of years of captivity, and then them coming out, okay, with great wealth and the Most High redeeming and restoring them. So all the other stuff I said that you guys are just making up, I said it's being, it's being shown to be nothing but a bunch of lies. You know, as, as, as you can see, as we bring out more truth and more understanding, we get less and less of scoffers. People coming and trying to, uh, you know, break down, you know, actually go against what we're saying. Because it's all about the Most High. He's the one that, you know, puts down people, puts down nations, puts down his dogmas. And he's the one that raises up his people. See, that's all part of the whole thing with the whole Black Lives Matter as well. I was watching a video and it was a bunch of white dudes in Buffalo, New York, who were going all crazy talking about how, you know, pretty much your, your black lives don't mean shit here. You know, they don't, they don't give a crap, but they said it other ways, about black lives. Now see, but they'll be the ones that'll be in, Christ, in church on Sundays talking about love, love, love. You can't have it both ways. You can't sit here and say, you know, during the six days out of the week, you know, F you, screw you guys. We don't, you know, we hate you, you know. We don't want to talk about the past. We don't want to talk about anything that we've done. We're just going to stay here and enjoy everything that you had before and say it's ours. That's what you guys have been doing. And those days are done. But that's okay. You guys can live in La La Land thinking that it's going to continue like this, but it's not. You get, People like that really think they're going to get raptured. I mean, you just see the vile things they were saying and yelling and screaming and, you know, and we all hear it. But they're good, supposedly good Christians. Yes, you're good Constantine Christians. You're good white supremacist Christians. You can't, and, and, and many of our people, you know, they'll just put a black face out there and they'll tell us that we have to forgive these people. No, we don't. They're not asking for forgiveness. So why should we be trying to give it to them? Why is it we have to always seem to have to be the, the bigger person? All we got to do is continue praying for the Most High to redeem his people and praying against our enemies. But these people, like I said, they don't, they don't care. I said they look for any reason to try to, you know, denigrate our people. They will not, they will not, you know, tell us tell the world who we are. They still continue to call us blacks and African Americans, even though those are all by words. They seem to think that they still have, you know, power and control over our scriptures. But every video that we make shows more and more about how off they are and how they have no understanding. You don't see them trying to use the scriptures now with precepts to prove what they say. Just like you got a lot of these coon uh, traitors to the most highest chosen people who are out here, you know, talking about love, love, and forgive, forgive, and that's, that's all they have. You don't see any scriptures talking about their rapture doctrine. You don't see any scriptures about, you know, us having to uh, forgive and forget and, and just, you know, kumbaya, you sing kumbaya and hold hands. So you look at scriptures like this, most High's not playing. He says, 
what you did to his people is going to happen to you. He said he's going to empower his people in order for them to take what's theirs. So if, you, if these people have anything else, otherwise, I don't want to hear you read a scripture and then, you know, read a scripture for 15 seconds and then give me your dissertation for the next hour. Give me nothing but opinions. We still got people coming to the comment board trying to talk, but they still, it's, it's still nothing but a bunch of opinions. You get the, oh, you're wrong. And let me tell you why. Here's my opinion why. Nobody cares about your opinions. This is all the Most High bringing up this truth at this point. And he's connecting all the dots. Which is a beautiful thing seeing the Most High raise up his people and bring us together and give us more knowledge and understanding and being able to sift through all the lies. We have to sift through all the lies all the time. <clears throat> okay? All praises to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother, who was wisdom, who was Holy Spirit. Acknowledgement, Yahweh Shai. Shalom.